Yo, what is up guys? We're back with part two of Face of the Franchise. So let's get it started. Hey, can I talk to you a minute? Yeah, yeah. sure, coach. <sighs> you know, I know it's hard to shut out all the noise. And it's a lot of pressure. The only thing that we can control is what's right in front of us. And what's right in front of us is a game of football. Same rules as always. So you got to take a step back, right? You got to breathe it in. You find a way to appreciate this moment, this, this time with your teammates, take in the crowd. Man, you do that, and, and everything gets real quiet. All right, so breathe, take it in. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I got you, Coach. Yeah, thanks. Good one. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Yo, that was a really cool, like, talk right there, pep talk. That's actually like really, really cool. Respect. Even though he's not real. Maybe they wish they could be going to the championship game this year. We crown a champion tonight here at Levi's Stadium in Santa yeah, Clara for the college football playoff national championship game. As we'll see the LSU Tigers taking on the Seminoles of Florida State. One game to decide it all. It's the college football playoff national championship, and off we go from Levi's Stadium. This is taken at his four. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. A national championship on the line in career start number two as the Seminoles get set first and ten. Throwing to start the drive. He gets it to Thomas. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. First and ten now, Florida State. From the gun, Vaughn. Over the middle, complete. That's Alexander. That's fine. Had the game here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. He's locked in early. Two nice first down completions to start. I like the fact that he's seen the whole field early. Spreading it around a little bit in the early game. And this is caught at the end. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A well executed 22 yard gain. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Good first step there defensively, but they're still knocking on the doorstep, so maybe another run here? I think so. One of my favorite coaches used to say, Son, if you could. That's cool. Touchdown, Florida State. Isaiah Streets. There to make the grab. And the Seminoles have taken the early lead. And the QB rating right now sky high. Four for four on that opening drive, and it ends with a touchdown pass. Yeah, I don't know quite how to figure it out. I think I need my friends from MIT to come in and help me. <laughs> I think 158.3 is the number one. No, that's the, right? high that's high the highest you can get. That's where he is. He'd like to continue on that pace. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. On first down, Livingston. And he is going to be stopped cold by the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now Thomas. From the gun, he'll throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. They'll give him eight on the play, and they're going to face a third down. 
And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. This will be a run with Livingston. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now throwing on first down and completing it. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10. As they've got things rolling on this drive. Here they go with Livingston. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. The Tigers of LSU looking for their fourth title in school history. They were champs way back in 1958 and twice in this century so far, 2003 and 2007. They'll run here with Deku. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Here's Thomas. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. The drive stays alive. A third down gain of eight. They'll run on first down. Livingston. And he'll run straight into a wall of tacklers at the line of scrimmage. It's second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments and doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Here's Thomas to throw on yeah. third down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder... Are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones to get you into the end zone and get you six? Ready to get this drive underway. The Seminole offense at the line. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Second and 14. Open man here, Streets. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he takes it into the end zone for a Florida State touchdown. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. So following the touchdown here, the Seminoles now to kick the football away. This is taken at his four. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they've got to make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. 
First and 10, LSU. On the ground, Deku. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A nice pick up there, 10 yards. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now a quick throw as that's complete on the hitch route. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Thomas will look to throw. Yeah, a quick throw here, that's complete. And yeah, the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They run the counter, Livingston. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. On second down, Livingston. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Call it a loss of two on the play. And it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. Thomas operating from the go. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. And this one is right down the middle. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14 to 6 now. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. Here's the Florida State offense ready to get their next drive going. Charles, we talked in the semifinal about Isaiah Street's brother, Ezekiel, lost due to the key. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put them on the ground. On third down, Vaughn. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. On first and 10, Vaughn, he's going to loft one deep left side. This is caught inside the 15. And he takes it into the end zone for a Florida State touchdown. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You can see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a rookie is, when the pressure's on, can you throw with touch? He just did right there. And boy, it was pretty. So following the touchdown, here are the Seminoles now to kick the football away. This fielded at the two. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot less. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. To throw is Thomas. That, Under that's pressure that's again, that's and down he goes again. The second one's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get upfield and get after yeah, the quarterback. It's been such an impressive first half to get that lead. Now LSU's punter getting set as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Fielded at about the 28. 
What a story this would be. Florida State one half away from a national championship. Hey, come on. Hey, you need to play better in the second half, all right? What? What? Look, just give me the ball, all right? Dude, Let I me do my thing. I agree. Okay, on every play. Yeah, I'm sure the defense is going to figure that out. Okay, well, you need to figure it out. This isn't just a game to me. I know that. I know that, Isaiah. Dude, Isaiah, you're being selfish, dude. I mean, I know how important this game is to you, but still. You already have two touchdowns. Just one half remains in the college football season as we begin the second half of this national championship game. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. Now Day Coon. And he'll be tackled right oh, on the chalk of the 45. It's a first down on a gain of 10. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. On the ground, it's Livingston. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. Play three of the drive, not as successful. They go backwards after those two first down gains. Thomas now looking to throw on second down. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. That right there, his first incompletion so far in this game, Charles. He was 9 of 9 before that. Yeah, I think that qualifies as being locked in. And then you have to ask him the question, so what caused the incompletion? Come on, man, get back on your game. Let's go. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. Now LSU's punter getting set as he'll kick it away for the second time. And problems yeah, spreading to the punt team go, go, go. now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Ready to get this drive underway. The Seminole offense at the line. They've got to like their position. They lead this championship game. Two quarters to play. What's the course of that? Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, you don't usually get a sack from a nose tackle spot, but we got one there. No, we don't. And a lot of the times in passing situations, they end up off the field anyway. So how happy was he to work his way back to the quarterback and put him on the ground? He's going to have a bit of nickname after something like that, some big jelly or something like that. 27 yards there, a first down. The Seminoles here with a first and 10. Off play action, Vaughn. They'll get this to Streets on the crossing route. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It'll be a gain of 16 for number 16. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10. As they've got things rolling on this drive. Stepping up, he'll try and run. He's got a first down and more inside the 30. And all the way down to the 25-yard line. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. On first down, Vaughn. And this is going to be intercepted. Snags it for the pick. First week of the preseason, probably not the pass, the impression that the rookie wants to leave right there. Yeah, no probably about it, because that's not what you want to do to try and pressure your new coaching staff, try to impress your locker room, and most importantly, yourself. You probably spent all night last night saying, don't throw an interception early. Make sure you take care of the football. But now he's got it out of the way. Hopefully he can just settle in and move on. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. 
So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They run the counter, Livingston. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Now Thomas. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. To throw is Thomas. To throw on second down. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Back now here on EA Sports. As we've got the final quarter upon us, we get ready to start the fourth. On third down, Livingston. And he is into the end zone for an LSU touchdown. Taking it in from the 20. As they're now just an extra point away from getting back within one score. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals. Before this one, they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Here's the Florida State offense ready to get their next drive going. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, it's very close. One score game. Yeah, and if I'm a defender, I'm actually chirping to you on the other side of the ball. I said, hey, we picked off the last one. What you going to do about it now? So when you do throw the football, high percentage, but throw with confidence. If there's any hesitancy at all, it could end up in enemy's hands again. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. Off the play fake. Vaughn. Flushed out right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And they had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time, they get at least a little bit more of a cushion in the field position. I have to think that with this field position, after what they did on the last drive, they might want to take a shot right now and try to cut down the length of the drive. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Second and 10. And a quick throw here. That's complete. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays harder to move them. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 12 yards on third down as the drive rolls on. LSU with a first and 10. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Throwing 
Left side here, and it's complete. A gain of six there on first. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. On third down, Livingston. Oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. A good gain there on third and eight of seven yards, and now a decision here on fourth and one. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. On fourth down, Thomas. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. They'll look to throw. Well, they did the part they had to do. Quick throw got the first down. But that doesn't allow them to relax. They still have plenty of work to do. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. First down now, but that clock rolling. Back to throw. Thomas fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Second and four. That'll bring up second and goal. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Looking to throw. Thomas. And that is caught. It's an LSU touchdown. Chase Guillory in the final minute as they now sit just a two-point conversion away from tying this game up in the fourth quarter. LSU lining up here to go for two. So they got the touchdown they needed to cut this to two, but now they've got to get back to the huddle. No celebration time. Got to figure out what they're going to do on the two-point conversion. Back to throw. Here we go. Thomas. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. And a failure to convert and tie the game. Now the pressure shifts back to the defense. But I think it was the right play. I think it was the right call to try and tie the game there. Kick an extra point, you're still down one. What's the sense? I, I like what they did. Let's go, baby! Let's well, go! fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. This swim complete to Streets. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. And they'll indeed take a knee. Well, taking that knee, maybe just a sigh of relief. They withstood a big fourth quarter comeback. Able to hold on, though. Certainly looked like they had things going their way, didn't it, in the fourth quarter? That just hold on, as you said, furious assault on them. But they were able to get it done, take a knee, and head to the locker room with a win. A story almost too good to write behind a quarterback who had never taken a snap at a college football game until nine days ago. For the first time since 2013, the Florida State Seminoles are national champs. Ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attention to the podium at midfield for the presentation of the College Football Playoff National Championship Trophy as we present your College Football National Champions, the Florida State Seminoles. Jack Ford, talk about a long shot. And as a man who's known as the quarterback whisperer, and I suggest you trademark that, by the way, um, how are you feeling about your quarterback right now? I tell you, this kid's amazing. He worked around the clock to prepare for this game. I've never seen anything like it. And I am so proud of what he's done and under this kind of pressure. Hope all you NFL scouts out there are paying attention. 
Is this kid special? Come on, man. You deserve <laughs> it, son. Congratulations. Coach, this is you. This is great. Thank you. A perfect end to a too short season. You're leaving here a champion. I, 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 it's better than I ever thought it would feel. <laughs> I can't even describe it, really. It's just to be up on this stage, celebrating with these guys. It, it's perfect. It's just perfect. It is a perfect end, but it seems like you put up a pretty good case that it shouldn't be today. How do you feel about that? I, hey, I, I think I gave myself a shot. If the NFL comes calling, I'll pick up the phone. But this guy over here, this guy, the trophy man. Absolutely. Isaiah Streets, we are all aware of the loss of your brother and what it took to be here today. But can you tell us, in this moment, how you're feeling right now? It's a lot, lots of feelings, Taylor. Uh, I made a promise to my brother that I was gonna... <laughs> you know, none of this... None of this would have been possible without this man right here. This dude came into an impossible situation. He's got heart. Love you, man. Hey, I love you, man. <sighs> Zeke! This was for you, baby! Yeah! This was for you! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, let's go! A lot of emotions out on the field tonight. This is what football is all about. About getting hit and getting back up. And as you can see in a season that was characterized by overcoming, these guys did just that and won a national championship. Back to you guys. Wow. That, just, just wow, that was a really heartwarming, especially about the Isaiah Streets part. But, hey, I, I'm not done yet. Right. <laughs> right. Okay, yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, he's actually right here. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hello? Hey, how's it going? It's Emily's dad. Look, I, I know that you got a lot on your plate, and I, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I, I did want to tell you that Emily's out of her surgery, and she is doing great. <laughs> she got to see the, the game and everything. You have made a fan for life in her. Thank you so much for the kind words. Uh, please, have Emily stay in touch. I will, I will. Thank you. All right, bye. Take care. <laughs> College well, football season's fun. wrapped up and the draft is two months away. Today we kick off the NFL scouting combine. Over the next seven days, more than 300 college prospects will run, jump, catch, and throw for NFL coaches and scouts. Kyle, who's your player to watch? Okay, it's the mythical backup quarterback who just won a national championship. This guy who's played in two games. Two games, and we're saying maybe a third round pick? Come on, the hype is unreal. God, he did win a national championship. Yes, he did. It was incredible. Peter, eight quarters of football, third round pick. Get out of here. If he blows up the combine like some people expect, uh -huh. he could be a first round draft pick. No way. Pick. No, Nate, no way. Listen, this isn't a particularly strong draft class for the quarterback position. And you know when that happens, teams get desperate for that QB, and they start to reach a little bit. Guess we'll find out soon. All right. Let's give him a little room. I'm on top of it. How many times do you need to? Yes, I'm on top of it. I'm meeting with, I've got a few other guys to meet this week and then I know that there's a time restraint. I understand that. Thanks for taking the time to meet me. Yes. Well, I, I know what he wants. I understand what he wants. He's told me what he wants. You don't have to tell me what he wants as well, okay? okay. Just, can you hold on for a second? Okay, but Thank I don't you. Have a long no, just time. be quiet. I take any of the other top quarterbacks available, and I get praise, and I get to keep my job. Hmm? I pick you, <laughs> a player that barely even picked up a ball in college, and then uh, I'm nuts. And the seat that I've got to sit on gets red hot. So why don't you tell me why you should even be on my radar? I'm a winner, bro. I just won a national championship. And that's not the last trophy I plan to have on my mantle. You pick me, 
You better clear your shelf for some hardware. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm gonna have to call you back. Call back buddy. Yes, I'll have to call you back. Okay. I love you too, Dad. Bye. Are you for real? You and I have a mutual friend in common. Mr. Jack Ford. He and I served on the same staff in St. Louis together. What do you think he might say about your ability to lead a locker room? Look, I respect Jack Ford, and I, I want you to... Let me just stop you right there. Jack had nothing but praise to say about you. And frankly, now so do I. <sighs> Listen, the truth is, my owner, he wants someone with the measurables. You go out there and you impress and you will be on our radar. Can you do right. that? And yeah. The Giants. Not a bad team to be on the radar. Sounds good. Drink yeah, an extra protein shake or whatever you got to do. Okay. I love New York City. It's one of my favorite places in the entire world. Hand over your phone. I want to check your internet history. Ooh. You want me to give you my phone? Is that just like normal procedure? You bet it is. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Well, at least now I know I can trust you with your playbook. Yes, you can. You're on a mountain in Alaska on a bus going 100 miles an hour. Where are you sitting on the bus? Bus in Alaska. I go front of the bus. Not middle. Nope. Have you looked at the engine before you even got into the bus? Uh, Did you check the tire pressure? I hired a professional mechanic to inspect every part of the bus, as he is more qualified than me. And I am aware of my strengths and weaknesses. Are you being cute with me, son? Good answer. No. You're not. Now give me a serious answer. Would you be in the front of the bus, the middle of the bus, or the back of the bus, or the passenger side of the bus? I already answered the front of the bus. Why? Because if I can see where we're going, I can make sure we're okay. Is that the wrong answer? That was really awkward. All right, you know, I'm probably, and once this gets out of here, that was, that'll probably be the end of part two, because won the national championship, and now getting ready for the combine. So, part two over. Peace.